Hello. So today I wanted to show you what I do in the evenings to shut down my kitchen and my home, starting with making dinner. Of course, tonight is chicken quesadillas. I am gonna show you how I make this shredded chicken at some point in the future. Just adding some salsa and some cheese. October 20th of 2008, Uno said, Uno on Twitter said, you cannot play a plus two on a plus two. <gasps> and someone said, thank you for the cards, but we'll take it from there. <laughs> for real, I was like, um, I don't think they know what they're talking about. <laughs> The chicken that I use in this, I actually make all the time. This one specific shredded chicken recipe is my favorite and it's delicious and it is magnifique. Um, keeps the meat super moist, <laughs> for lack of a better term, juicy. These quesadillas are so easy to whip up. I just heat up the chicken beforehand, which I'm doing now for my own quesadilla. And I usually make some Mexican rice, heat that up the next nights. Also really good leftovers. Something that I have learned over time, but especially since moving in here, is to use all the excess time I have. So while the quesadilla is going, Jared's quesadilla is going, I'm gonna go ahead and unload the dishwasher that I ran the night before. Um, yes, I do leave them clean in there all day. And then I come back in basically whenever I'm making dinner and unload and reload as I go. quesadilla brown, golden brown to perfection. I go ahead and take that off here as I am heating up Jared's rice. Again, super quick, super easy, and honestly delicious. I kind of impress myself every single time I make this. So good, yum yum, mm. Mm. delicious. Okay. Good. So Jared's dinner is made and given to him. And I'm just going in and making mine now. I had already had the chicken heated up in the microwave. And there are a few chicken bits from Jared's quesadilla. And this is really embarrassing, but humorous, so. Here. Okay, lovely so my rice is heated or I have it on the plate at least to be heated um, mm, there's my dreamy husband had to stop the slow-mo a sec for his appearance and I'm gonna go ahead and go through while my dinner is being made and clean up as much as I can incredible Wow restaurant level. Okay, so I cleaned up as much as I could while uh, my food was being made, which means that I wiped down the counters, I put everything away, and using the time that you would just be standing there waiting for something to brown is kind of like having a superpower because it's literally it took me 20 minutes to make our dinner and 20 minutes for me to clean the kitchen. Like dishwasher unloaded, all of the ingredients from dinner put away and the counters wiped down. But it took me a long time to learn 
to do this. So if it's still difficult for you to figure out, hey, I am right there with you. Uh, there are still times I think that I could be more efficient with my time than I am, but it's a learning process and that's okay. And it's kind of fun and feels really good whenever you do figure it out. So I did make some cookies. I've been craving sweets recently. I don't know if it's because that's just who I am as a person or because I got my IUD out and different points in my cycle make me crave sweets because I can blame it on that now, but it's probably just who I am as a person. So I left up some chocolate chip cookies whenever I found a recipe that I had all the ingredients for. Jared had put on The Office for background noise and background entertainment while I prepare these cookies. So let me know if you recognize what episode this quote is from. There's that ass. You might be able to know just from looking, but I wasn't, that these cookies are way too big. Yeah, massive. I did wind up turning it into one big cookie basically, but it was fine. They were delicious. For now, they're going into what looks like their own little tanning bed, but it's not. It does the opposite of tan them. It makes them cold. So yeah, okay, heating the oven to 350. Look at my weird reflection there. What is that T-Rex arm doing? Uh, okay, moving on. <gasps> I am going to load all the dishes. It would be really cool if it actually only took under 30 seconds to load the dishwasher, but it doesn't. But that's okay because it's really not that painful of a process whenever you say it with me. Do it consistently. I do this every night. So I just took care of the dishes that I used to make the cookies that we'd used throughout the day. And it feels great to be walking out of a clean kitchen. There are the cookies put away. They're shaped weird. It had to be done because they were one large cookie whenever they came out. Just look at how nice this is. Yeah, I don't clean the floors every night. I think that some people might think that that's a crime, uh, especially having non-carpet, but I don't because you see those slides on my feet. I wear everywhere pretty much in the house. Although whenever the floors are first cleaned, it does feel pretty nice on the, uh, on the dogs. My dogs, my, my feet, my tootsies. Anyways, I'm getting off track. Most of the time I have these shoes on, so it's fine. But I do vacuum probably twice a week and I steam mop once a week. And this was one of the nights that it was time to vacuum. So that's what we did. Okay, so we're done with the floors. We're done with everything. So put away the vacuum, obviously. I do keep a trash can in there to put the dirt from the vacuum in there and like laundry lint. And if you have a space to keep a little trash can separate from your kitchen trash can for dirt, particle, things like that, I would highly recommend it. And then we just, we admire our hard work, what we've done, everything is nice and clean and order. and it just feels really really good and i'm so happy so yeah that's why i shut down my home i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next one